it's Sophia Hodgson from Rusty Glue 85 I'm back with another YouTube video um, and I'm just going to give you a very quick life update uh, I was making a card and uh, Inara decided that she really needed to join me on the <laughs> crafting table sorry the cats are making funny faces at me from off screen and uh, she jumped up and this happened so she jumped up and didn't quite land properly and pulled this down with her because she was uh, just scrabbling for purchase so that's my cutter dead and I've had it for quite a few years so it was an emotional loss uh, so I ended up having to buy a brand new trimmer so this is my new trimmer from now on so I'm going from the white to the black which will hopefully match my Tim Holtz glass media mat when it finally arrives, if it ever arrives. I'm beginning to wonder whether or not I ordered it from a reputable company. We'll find out. But yeah, so that's my little life update and uh, now I'm just going to show you a quick haul from Seven Hills Crafts and we're going to move to the desk. So, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but I was unemployed for quite a long period of time uh, this year. So I didn't really do any new purchasing. So with my first paycheck, I went a bit crazy and bought quite a few old sets of my favorite things that I hadn't been able to buy previously because I hadn't had the funds. Um, so all of these are from Seven Hills Crafts. Um, so this one is the Chinese takeout die and the coordinating sentiments that go with it so you can stamp the bits and pieces on the takeout or these go on the little fortune cookie strip uh, so I, I had wanted that one for quite a while and it was on a special offer so I'm really happy that I was able to get both of those um, I'll talk about that one later actually um, so I'd been desperate for all of the wonky shapes, the wonky rectangles, wonky wonky squares, all of that kind of stuff. So I went for the wonky circles, wonky ovals, and wonky rectangles, but the wonky squares were out of stock at the time, so I'll be getting those at a later date. Um, also on the theme of uh, rectangles and things. I finally got the A2 stitched dynamics from MFTs and I got the uh, set one and set two. As you can see I've already cut these apart. I've got these two stitched rectangles as well that I've been using in my planner. So uh, I found that I didn't have enough stickers for certain things so I just cut them out using this and then stamped on them so that was they're really really useful not just for card making but also for planning as well um, so I adored this stamp set when it came out this is the flock yeah and I got the coordinating dies and the stamps and hopefully I'm going to be making a card with these soon so uh, keep an eye out for a card made with with them sometime soon this is the hero arts fancy dies and if you follow my blog or you watch my YouTube channel uh, you will know that I love everything marine and ocean themed so when Hero Arts came out with this I was so excited and I could not wait to buy it so finally I was able to get my hands on that one so that is the Waves and Sea Confetti Fancy Die from Hero Arts um, and I also got the scripty hello from my favorite things. I think that that is such a versatile die sentiment So I think that you can use that on a lot of cards and also because it's quite big You can make cards quite quickly just have that as your main sentiment and then maybe a little something uh, on a strip underneath and just have a, a Printed background a pattern background and then you're pretty much done So if you need a quick card in a hurry, I think that this die is going to be really really useful so I did say that I was going to talk about this later. So this is the Alta New Envelope Liner Die. Um, so it's for uh, A2 sized cards. So that's not a, a size that I use very often. So I also purchased these Alta New 
pearlescent envelopes, uh, so they're pearl, and I hope you can see this gorgeous gold, I don't know if I can catch that in the light, the gold pearlescent tone that they have to them. Uh, so there's a bit of a story behind this. Um, so I don't normally use this card size, so I never thought that I would actually want this die set. However, I do think that it's got several useful dies in it. So the For You, Enjoy and Hello, all of them are, again, a good size, a bit like the MFT Hello, and they will fit a card and you can get a card made very quickly. Bob's your uncle, send it off. Uh, it's got the lovely hearts and stars for decorating the envelope, um, a little tree branch as well, so really nice sentiments and additional bits and pieces. But the, if I just get that out, actual envelope liner die, well cut a piece of paper or card if you choose that's just a little bit smaller than the envelopes that Altenew make and I think other other companies do hold this carry this size as well and it will just be the right size to fit inside your envelope and then you can have a lovely matching insert to your envelope so the story behind these finally get there this is one of the new Stamping Up paper ranges um, and again I don't know if I can catch the light there it's a beautiful pearlescent paper now I didn't know when I saw the catalogue that this was pearlescent I was just like oh yeah they're nice they're, they're pretty but I uh, probably won't, won't, won't bother buying this particular um, designer series paper but my current Stampin' Up! demonstrator is a very savvy lady and she gave all of us these little samples of one piece of the paper from each designer series pack just so that we had one piece from each each series and we could look at them, perhaps make a single card out of them, see how we like them and then make a more informed choice about what packs of paper we wanted to buy. The second I saw that this was pearlescent I was just like, oh my god I need this entire pack, probably about three of them actually. Um, so I got seriously excited by this and I wanted to have matching envelopes and then I thought actually it would be really nice if I could get that to be a kind of, I'm just gonna sauce it in like that just to give you an idea of having a, a matching envelope liner with this designer series paper and the pearlescent. So they're all pearlescent but the Stampin' Up! Uh, designer series paper has a kind of silver sheen to it whereas the Alter New has a very gold sheen to it. So they're not perfectly matched but I think that they're close enough that most people wouldn't complain, wouldn't say anything. They'd just be like, oh my god that's so pretty. So once I saw this designer series paper I knew that I wanted matching envelopes, so that's why I've got these envelopes. And I really desperately wanted to get the envelope liner die so that I can turn this into an envelope liner and just have it peeking out from inside the envelopes so that the envelopes match the card that I make with those papers. So that's my little haul. Um, thank you so much for spending time with me and I will see you again soon. Happy crafting and see you again soon. Bye!